Alright, now the time has come to add a bead to my jewelry. So first, I want to grab two bass strings and the bead. And then I'm going to slip the bass strings through the hole in the bead. Once we've done that, we pull the bead up to the necklace, as close as we can get it to the stitch we just tied, and then continue tying our stitches as normal. Now there are a couple of things to consider before putting the bead on. For a spiral stitch, such as this one, you need to make sure that you're adding the bead on the stitch before a complete circuit. If you add the bead after you've made a full rotation, then what will happen is the bead will be a little bit turned every single time. And here's an example of the spiral stitch with the beads improperly added. As you can see, each time a bead is added, the necklace spirals a little bit more than it should, making it look bad. When adding a bead to a flat stitch, you need to make sure not to tie the stitch the same direction twice, otherwise it'll also make your bead turn slightly every single time. So just make sure to tie it as if the bead wasn't even there. Doing this will result in it maybe looking like you did tie the same stitch twice, because if you look here and here, both of the stitches are facing the same direction. However, you have to keep in mind that there is a stitch around the bead as well, and that's the one facing the other direction. So if it looks like this, it's good. Here's an example of a flat stitch with the beads improperly added. As you can see, with each added bead, the piece of jewelry spirals a little bit more, making it look even worse. Alrighty, well now that we've finished one half of the necklace, it's time to do the other half. The first step is to put on your centerpiece, and you can put on the centerpiece really however you want, but since this has a good enough drop already, I'm just going to add it like I would a normal stitch. And for spiral stitches, instead of tying the spiral in the same direction throughout the whole necklace, it looks really good to have it symmetrical, so you switch directions at the centerpiece, and that adds to the symmetry of the whole piece. Now that we got the beads on, the last step is going to teach you how to end your piece of jewelry. 